In this video, we're going to take you through the Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet in 2023 has just had a brand refresh and enhancing features such as navigation, making features more seamless. So we thought we'd take you through an updated beginner's guide today, showing you how to create a wallet, send, receive, swap, buy, withdraw, and earn crypto, as well as connect to dApps with Trust. And there'll be a timeline in the summary below for those looking to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. For more information on Trust Wallet, please check out everybithelps.io. First up, a little bit about Trust. Trust Wallet is a multi-chain cryptocurrency wallet that was created in 2017, originally built to support tokens in the Ethereum ecosystem. However, since its acquisition by Binance, the wallet now allows you to store and manage millions of crypto assets, including NFTs across over 100 blockchains. And as I said, Trust Wallet in 2023 has just had a brand refresh, and it's now trusted by over 75 million users. The wallet is self-custody, so you're going to have access to your private keys and therefore complete control over your crypto. The wallet is beginner-friendly, and it has a host of easy-to-use features such as quick and easy buying with credit and debit cards for those just getting started and possibly buying their first crypto. Plus, you can hold more than 10 million assets from over 100 blockchains, swap or exchange your crypto from within the wallet, stake and earn interest on your crypto. Plus, you can also safely store all of your collectibles and NFTs within the Trust Wallet and track crypto prices. And then you also have the option of connecting your wallet and interacting it with dApps or decentralized applications. The Trust Wallet is available on mobile or via a browser extension. We're not going to be covering the extension today as we do have a separate tutorial for that. And if you're interested in it, then I'll pop a link in the summary. And because the wallet is self-custody, you don't have to enter any personal data or essentially sign up for an account. This way, they don't track any personal information and that includes things like your IP addresses or your balances. And just one word of warning before we get started. Please be wary of people in the comments or reaching out to you claiming to be Trust Wallet or offering support. Trust will never contact you, request your private keys, or ask you to pay money to withdraw from the app. So let's jump in and take a look at how to use the Trust Wallet. The first thing you're going to need to do is download and install the app, which you can do either via the App Store or Google Play. Then when you've opened it, you're going to have the option to get started. And you can either then create a new wallet, or if you already have a wallet, you can restore it. If, for example, you've got a new phone. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and create a new wallet. To continue, you're going to be prompted to set a six-digit passcode. Then back up your secret phase, and this is used to recover your wallet. If you were to lose your phone, or if it breaks, or if you want to use this wallet on another device, or their extension at a later date. And it's really important that you do keep these words really safe, as anyone with access to these will have complete control and access of all your crypto funds. As I mentioned earlier, support will never ask you for this information either, so please don't give these to anyone. And this seed phrase can either be backed up manually or to iCloud. Before they display these to you, you do need to tick some boxes stating that you understand that Trust Wallet doesn't keep a copy of a secret phase, saving it digitally isn't recommended, and the best way to do this is to write it down and store it somewhere offline. And you need to write these down exact and in order, so it is worth numbering them. If you're backing it up manually, you'll be displayed the 12 words to write down, and just make sure you keep them somewhere really safe and away from any potential damage. If you choose to back up via iCloud, you can give it a recognisable name and just make sure that you don't delete this on iCloud as you will risk losing your crypto if you've not written them down as well. You'll then need to give it an encryption password, which you'll need to remember as Trust won't keep a copy of this and therefore you can't reset it. Once you've backed up your recovery phrase, either manually or via iCloud, you'll then enter the app and then you can get started using Trust Wallet. The first place that we're going to start is our home screen, which you can see selected in the bottom left of the screen. So let's take a look around. Now in the top left hand side of our screen is our settings, which we're going to come back to a little bit later. Then over on the right is an option to manage crypto. When you create your wallet, automatically you're going to have Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, 
TWT and MATIC automatically displayed in the centre of your screen. However, if you want to add more to this list, you can choose them from here. You then have a search bar for searching for a specific crypto, and then your wallet, which we named earlier, and the balance. Obviously, this is currently at zero because I don't have any funds in here yet. You'll also see that this is in dollars, and this can be changed to your chosen fiat currency from the settings. And you could also have more than one wallet within the trust wallet, which I'm going to show you how to do later. To the right is a copy icon for copying your wallet address for receiving crypto. Next to that is where you can scan QR codes for sending crypto. And there's also a bell icon for notifications. There's then quick links to send, receive, buy and earn, which we're going to look at individually. And underneath there's some scrolling features and then the crypto. So here is where you can view the current crypto prices for Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB and whatever cryptos that you selected from the list. It then shows how much that price has changed in the 24 hour period. And to the right of these cryptos is your current asset balance, which again are obviously at zero. When we press on to these different types of cryptocurrencies, it will then take you to the wallet for that specific crypto. And again, you've got quick links for sending, receiving, buying and more. But let's head back to our home screen now. As we said, the wallet is currently empty, so let's send some funds to it. And you can also buy crypto from within Trust using a credit or a debit card by choosing the crypto and selecting buy. And when you enter in an amount, Trust will then go away and find a rate from their third party providers. If you choose to continue with one of these, you're then going to be redirected to the providers page and you'll need to follow the on-screen instructions from the provider. And although this is a really convenient way to buy your crypto, this won't be the cheapest way, and therefore it's not a way that we'd personally recommend buying crypto, or that we'd personally use, as you are going to be paying a premium. I've already purchased some crypto using exchanges like Binance and Coinbase, which I'll show you as examples. But if you've purchased from another exchange, the process can be very similar. So how do we send crypto to our trust wallet and essentially receive. Well, there's a few different ways to receive crypto into Trust. First, let's head across to Binance where our Ethereum currently resides. Then go to our wallet and fee it in spot. Locate the crypto that you'd like to withdraw and choose withdraw from the right. So here we can see that we've got Ethereum selected in the coin drop down, and we're then prompted to enter an address to send your coins to and this is going to be our Trust Wallet Ethereum address. So let's just head back to the Trust app now and find our wallet address within Trust for Ethereum. And you can find this using the copy icon that we saw earlier from the home screen. Then locate Ethereum in this example. But you can obviously select any crypto from here that you're sending to Trust. And once that's copied, you can then paste that into the address. Alternatively, you could press on to Ethereum from the main screen, choose Receive, and then either copy the address from here or scan the QR code. And there is another way to do this, which is to deposit from an exchange, and I'm going to choose this option a little bit later. Once the address has been entered into the To field, you may then be prompted to select a network, and this is the network that you're withdrawing on and we're going to be sending ours on Ethereum, as that's the address we've selected. Then enter an amount. I'm going to send across $50 worth of Ethereum, and then I'm going to choose to withdraw. And I'll just need to wait the estimated time of around 5 minutes to pass. And then return back to my Trust Wallet, where you'll now see that I've got an active balance, both on the home screen and under Ethereum. And this process would be very similar regardless of the exchange that you use. Next, I'm going to show you an example of sending Bitcoin from Coinbase. So when we choose Bitcoin from the list and choose Receive, and here you can see that there is an option to deposit from an exchange so that we can directly transfer from our account. Let's select that option and we can then choose from either Binance or Coinbase. I'm going to choose Coinbase now as that's where I'm currently storing some Bitcoin. And I'm then going to be redirected to log in to Coinbase. The Send Bitcoin screen will then appear so that you can enter an amount from your Coinbase balance, preview your send, and in here you'll see that you don't have to enter the address that it's being sent to, as it's already selected this, 
and this will help to minimise any mistakes. And to send your crypto, just choose to confirm. And our balance is now showing with both our Ethereum and our Bitcoin. If you almost want to reverse this process and send your funds outside of your wallet to another platform on our exchange, I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Because what I'd like to do is show you what else you can do within the app when your crypto is inside it. The first option is to swap, which you can reach by using the tabs at the bottom of the screen. So if you're holding one crypto and you'd like to swap it for another on the same chain, you can use this feature. You do this by selecting the token that you currently have with an active balance. Then choose the token that you'd like to swap to. And enter in how many tokens you'd like to swap, or you can use a percentage of your balance. Underneath it will then give you an idea of how much you're going to get for the swap, and it will show a provider fee. When you preview the swap using the green button, it shows my amounts, which wallet it's taking it from, and I currently only have one, who the provider is for the switch, and in this case it's one inch, the maximum slippage it will accept, and the network fee. And this is the amount paid to the miners for completing the transaction on the blockchain, as opposed to fees from trust. So as you can see, it's incredibly high on the Ethereum network at the moment, so I'm not going to be going ahead with this swap. But while we are on the topic of swapping, if you're holding BNB, you can also swap your tokens from one chain to the other by selecting it from the home screen and choosing more and swap. And in here you can see either swap your BNB or you can swap these to the Binance chain. So if for example you've got some BNB on the Binance chain rather than the Binance smart chain and you want to move these across, you can choose to swap to Binance chain or vice versa. And these tokens will then move across from one chain to the other. And this is handy if you want to interact with dApps but you've only got BNB available on the Binance chain, and maybe you need some on the smart chain to pay for some fees. Now if you've held your crypto in your wallet and you want to send it, possibly across to another exchange or a wallet, you can simply copy the recipient's address or scan the QR code, and this will be the deposit or receive address. I'll show you an example of this on Coinbase now. So with Coinbase, to find your deposit address, you choose to send a receive from the top of the screen. Then choose the Receive tab. Next we need to choose the crypto that you're going to be sending. Bitcoin is already selected, but I can change this by clicking on the arrow beside our crypto here. I'm then shown the address which I can then copy and paste it back over on Trust Wallet. Or I can also scan the QR code that's displayed instead. By choosing the icon to the right of the Paste button on the Trust app, and then aligning that with my camera. And using this method can help to eliminate an incorrect address. You then enter the amount that you want to send, or you can click to send max to send all of your funds. And then choose next. We then get a preview of our transfer, letting us know what we're sending, from which wallet, and to where. And then we have our network fee, which as I said is always required when performing any transactions on the blockchain. And if you find that your transactions are failing, it could be because you don't have enough of that token to pay for the fees. If this is your first time sending, we would recommend sending a smaller amount first, just to make sure that you've got everything correct. When you're happy, you can confirm. And from here, we can now see our pending transaction under Bitcoin, where we can see some of the details or check that on the Block Explorer. There's also a red one against my crypto, which will display whilst the transaction is still pending. Now if you're looking to sell and withdraw from Trust Wallet to your bank account or credit card and effectively cash out, you can potentially use the sell feature with their third party providers. But there are minimum amounts, plus you're going to be paying far higher fees than simply sending this to an exchange like we did with Coinbase. Then when you have your crypto in an exchange that supports fiat markets, you can then sell that for your fiat currency, which in my case is GBP, then simply cash out and send that back to your bank account or your linked account such as PayPal. The next tab that we're going to take a look at at the bottom of the screen is Discover. With Discover, there's some featured items, trending news, ways that you can earn through staking, a list of meme coins, lending and borrowing, and those on specific chains or DeFi. 
if you want to stake and earn some interest on your tokens that might be sat idle in your wallet otherwise, you can take a look at staking. And the earn icon from the home screen will take you to exactly the same place. In here it shows a list of all the different assets that you can stake with their variable interest rates, with popular cryptos such as the likes of Polkadot, Cosmos, Kava, Solana, BNB and Tezos. If I select Atom as an example, and then start earning. It will then display how many I've got available, how many maybe I've staked, the APR and any lock times. If we choose the green stake button at the bottom, it will then ask how much I'd like to stake and I can choose a validator that I'd like to stake with. And you can then view a list of validators and their current rates which will change over time and it is worth doing some research into these validators before you go ahead and stake with them. Also, when you're staking your tokens, you can't remove them from the wallet or exchange or swap them as they're going to be locked up for the period shown up on screen, which for this token is 21 days on this example, but this will vary. If we choose the browser tab now at the bottom of the screen, this is an inbuilt browser. So here you can use the browser to navigate to a decentralized app, also known as a DAP. And I'm going to use one inch as an example. From here, I can then connect up my Trust Wallet and it will then connect my wallet and automatically display my balances so that I can connect and swap tokens on this site, all without having to leave the Trust Wallet. And there are other ways that you can connect to dApps, which may be on your desktop, for example. That's using something called Wallet Connect, which you can find under your settings. Wallet Connect allows Trust users to interact with any dApp without compromising recovery phrases or private keys, as you're going to be notified to approve all transaction requests directly from your mobile device. I'll show you a quick example of this now with Uniswap over on my desktop. If I choose Connect Wallet, then Wallet Connect, and then add a new connection under Wallet Connect, we'll just need to scan the QR code shown on screen with our camera. Then allow Uniswap to view our wallet balance and activity by choosing to connect. Your wallet will then be automatically connected directly to the site, which you can then use seamlessly. And this would work in the same way for any site or protocol that uses Wallet Connect, such as PancakeSwap. And I've got a full tutorial for that available. Also under our settings, at the top we've got wallets. And this is where you can create multi-wallets and you can manage these from here too. So if we click on the plus icon in the top right, here you can create a new wallet or you can add an existing one using its 12 or 24 word recovery phrase. When you have more than one wallet connected, you can toggle between them using the down arrow from the home page. Also under your settings, it's where you can set up price alerts, add wallet addresses and contacts to an address book. You can scan QR codes, Use Wallet Connect as we just did. Change your preferences with different fiat currency options, which you could swap from USD to GBP, for example. Set up security options for passcodes, face ID, auto locking, and transaction signing. Plus, you can also connect with their support, which is powered by ChatGBT. And you can check out their socials. But that completes my beginner's guide of the Trust Wallet. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.